it's your boy books before we progress with this video i want to thank you guys for 40,000 subscribers the support has been insane we're on the grind to 50k so if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button to join the books nation don't forget to hit the bell as well to never miss a video so you guys have been asking me so much in the comment section when are you gonna do the dribble tutorial books and i told you guys i got you i'm a man of my word so here we are welcome to my nba 2k20 mobile ultimate dribble tutorial i've done this a couple of times in the previous 2k mobile games but this year i'm gonna be taking it to a whole new level i'm gonna be showing you guys the best dribble combos as well not just the moves and we got a couple amazing ones so sit back and relax let's go break some ankles so we're gonna be starting off with something light the basics the triple threat so when you're in a triple threat position you can either jab left jab right or jab forward you can also pump fake as well and it's pretty simple to execute you either have to flick the right stick to the left to the right or straight up in a triple threat position and you might think this move is actually useless but while in a triple threat stance you can escape from it with a crossover or behind the back move and it's pretty simple to do as well so to do the triple threat crossover what you have to do is while well, jabbing to one direction with the right stick you just have to move in the opposite direction with the left stick so if i jab to the right i move the left stick to the left and if i jab to the left i move the left stick to the right Sometimes your player might even perform a spin animation of the triple threat and it's pretty nice you can get that first step off your defender and drive to the rim. Also you can do a triple threat jab to a behind the back move I actually did not know this. I don't know if it's a new animation they added to 2k20 mobile I most likely did not try it in the previous 2k mobile games but if you want to do a behind the back of the triple threat what you want to do is flick the right stick either to the left or to the right to jab and then quickly spin it around in a half circle and your player will complete a triple threat behind the back so basically if you jab to the left with the right stick quickly flick it again in an anti-clockwise direction only halfway though and your player will complete a triple threat jab you can do it from the right side as well it's a pretty nice move and I actually didn't know also this is a new move I never included in my dribble tutorials the walking size up so if you want to perform a walking size up all you have to do is just move the left stick slightly up to where your player starts walking and then just keep flicking the right stick either to the right or to the left slowly your player will perform a walking size up you can use this to get some ankles even catch the defender off guard just explode to the rim you can do this while it's going back as well what you need to do is just move the left stick slightly down and then flick the right stick to the bottom left or to the bottom right whilst moving if your player is getting clamped up you can use it to back up just explode to the rim now we're going to be moving on to the advanced dribble moves and we're starting off with the crossover i'm sure most of you guys already know how to do this but if you want to perform a crossover what you want to do is flick the right stick from the ball hand to the non ball hand so if the ball's on your right hand you want to flick the right stick to the left and if the ball's on your left hand you want to flick the right stick to the right it's pretty simple you can chain multiple crossovers as well by flicking the right stick left to right very quickly also you can do the crossover whilst moving you can perform a double crossover even so while sprinting you want to flick the right stick from the ball hand quickly to the non ball hand and then back to the other hand it sounds complicated but if the ball's on your right hand you want to flick the right stick to the left and to the right quickly your player will do a double cross it works the other way as well if the ball's on your other hand you just have to do it in the opposite direction next up we've got the in and out move so performing the in and out is very simple you just need to flick the right stick upwards in a standing position your player will perform the in and out move and this is something i've never brought in my dribble tutorials you can combo the in and out with a crossover and it's pretty sweet what you just need to do is flick the right stick upwards and in between the animation you want to move the left stick either to the right or to the left so if you do the in and out with your left hand you want to move the left stick to the right and your player is going to chain that into a crossover it's pretty nice you can get a quick first step on your defender now we're moving on to the between the legs cross so if you want to perform the between the legs move what you want to do is in a standing position flick the right stick to the bottom left or to the bottom right depending on which hand the ball is in so if the ball's in your right hand you want to flick it to the bottom left and if the ball's in your left hand you want to flick it to the bottom right you can chain multiple of these moves together as well and speaking of chaining moves you can chain this with a crossover as well but what you need to do is while sprinting you want to flick the right stick either to the bottom left or to the bottom right and then quickly perform a crossover by flicking the right stick left or right you have to do this quickly your player will perform a deadly between the legs cross i think tim hardaway was famous for doing this move because it's a deadly cross next on the list we got the behind the back move if you want to perform the behind the back what you want to do is in a standing position just flick the right stick downwards it's pretty simple you can chain multiple of these together as well you just have to keep flicking the right stick downwards also you can do this whilst moving as well but you don't 
don't have to move the left stick all the way up to where your player starts sprinting you just want to keep holding it to the point where your player is about to sprint then just flick the right stick downwards and you can do the behind the back on the move it's really nice because it creates some separation off your defender and you can get to the rim or even go for a pull up next on the list we got the hesitation move if you want to perform the hesitation what you want to do is flick the right stick in the direction of your ball hand so if the ball's on your right you want to flick the right stick to the right and if the ball's on your left you want to flick the right stick to the left you can do the hesitation whilst moving as well you just have to do the same thing while on the move your player perform a move similar to the in and out and lastly you can perform a hezzy crossover as well so what you want to do is just flick the right stick in the direction of the ball hand then quickly move the left stick in the opposite direction so if you do a hezzy to the left you want to move the left stick to the right and if you do a hezzy to the right you want to move the left stick to the left you can use this move to freeze your defender and just get straight to the rim next up we've got the spin move to perform the spin move what you want to do is rotate the right stick in a clockwise direction or an anti-clockwise direction and your player will perform the spin move and you can do this on the move as well you just need to be sprinting and then rotate the right stick either in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction i know there's a half spin as well but i've not figured out how to do it on this game yet if you guys know how to do it you can let me know in the comment section down below or you can even drop me a tweet showing me how to do it also we got the cross spin as well if you want to perform that in a standing position what you want to do is rotate the right stick in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction but only halfway so when you do this your player can perform the cross spin and when he's done with the animation you can just hold the left stick upwards and he's gonna explode into a crossover and get straight to the rim and you can catch your defender off guard whilst doing that last on the dribble moves we got the snatch back or the step back and it's one of my favorite moves as well if you want to perform the snatch back what you want to do is while sprinting you want to hold the right stick downwards and your player will perform a deadly snatch back it's really nice for catching some ankles or just creating space you can perform a step back as well while sprinting you want to flick the right stick to the bottom right or the bottom left and your player is going to perform a step back so now we're moving on to the dribble combos and this is something i've never done in any of my dribble tutorials but i want to show you guys the best combos to break some ankles or just daisy up your defender i'm not going to be showing you all the dribble combos possible i'm just going to be showing you my favorites so first on the list we got the crossover to the behind the back you guys have probably seen me do this move a lot in my my career videos but if you want to perform this move what you want to do is while sprinting you want to perform a crossover and then you want to bring the left stick down to where your player stops sprinting just for a brief second and then flick the right stick down it sounds very complicated but you need to practice this move a lot so first start a crossover while sprinting by flicking the right stick either to the left or to the right and then quickly drop down the left stick a little bit and finally you need to flick the right stick downwards and you need to perform this quickly or your player is not going to perform the move you just got to practice this move a lot but when you get it down it's really nice to pull off next on the list we got the between the legs into a spin move and this is a really nice move as well i recently started doing it so if you want to perform it what you want to do is perform a between the legs move by flicking the right stick either to the bottom left or bottom right then quickly after rotate the right stick in a circular motion either in an anti-clockwise or clockwise direction your player will perform the between the legs to a spin move so it's basically a combination of the two moves but you got to do it quickly and it looks really nice next up we got the hezzy spin and it's exactly what you're thinking it's a hesitation into a spin move so to do this you want to flick the right stick to the direction of the ball hand to perform a hezzy and then quickly rotate it again to perform a spin move and you want to do this quickly as well all of these moves take some practice to get down so don't get frustrated if you're not pulling it off instantly you just got to work on it next on the list we got the behind the back to a snatch back and this move is a little tricky to pull off so in order to do this move what you want to do is just hold the left stick enough to the point where your player is moving you don't need to sprint off the start so when you're on the move you want to flick the right stick downwards to perform a moving behind the back then quickly push the left stick downwards and then flick the right stick downwards again and your player will perform a snatch back i know it's very complicated if you probably use a controller to play this game it's going to be simpler to do but it's trickier to pull it off with the touch controls so basically you want to perform a moving behind the back and a snatch back some of these combos are easy to perform and the other is a little difficult to master but when you get it down trust me it gets pretty easy and what i want you guys to know is it's really nice to learn all of these moves individually but if you're not able to chain them or combo them there's no use to it all the best dribblers know when and how to use those combos so you just got to keep practicing and you probably get it down anyway it's been your boy books if you guys didn't understand anything i said let me know in the comment section down below also if you think i missed out on a dribble move you can let me know as well you can tweet at me or dm me on instagram my social media links will be in the description down below thank you guys so much for all the support for on the grind to 50k be sure to share the video and like it see you guys in the next one stay bookmarked Yuck. oh my he's too fast there's nothing i can do all right Woo! the step back he's frozen Yuck. I've made like my last five threes. The upgrades have been working.
Oh no! I should have probably spent those upgrades on defense. <laughs> oh, we got his ankles. Who needs defense when you can do this? And that's the game. That's the way to end it. The ankle breaker and the game winner. Oh my goodness, that was so epic.